Hi there, let's have a quick look at the Bichelle um, and why I prefer to use it over Bash or uh, ZSH. So um, ZSH I haven't used personally. Um, I've just found Bichelle uh, to be, I've always been a lot more productive with it and I, I took to it straight away. Um, unlike um, ZSH, where I think there's, there's a bit of a learning curve to it and um, I don't do learning curves very well. So um, let's check out a fish shell. So, <clears throat> excuse me, normal bass shell here. Uh, if I type in fish, it will take us over to um, my my user account in uh, in, in fish. Um, and um, I haven't got fish as my default shell just because um, we could have bash as well and we could have this age as well. I prefer to just, you know, have my, uh, an alias for from bash to fish so if i go exit out of this with another alias and just do fish then i'm happy it's just one character you know it's fine so why do i like fish so much let's take a look at um, aliases so from here i can go to my repos and then uh, just start typing start typing and then i get this nice intellisense come up which I really like, so hit dot, and then this will take me to um, the, the my blog rep repository. So um, no CD, so you don't have to CD. I mean, you still can. You can go back to, and you can say CD blog. It's got to be something, but um, I I'm all about that. You know, saving those keystrokes. So <laughs> for me, it's just blog. Um, and then tab and we can find oh I'm already in it and it's the same for going back as well you don't need to CD back into them so that's one reason uh, aliases which I've, I've already gone over but um, I can I can again aliases list out what aliases I have or maybe not so um, there's a, a function uh, we can you can create an aliases function. Let's just paste this in here, copy pasta. I've got a, um, uh, these are all listed in my cheat sheet, sheets repository um, for both fish, bash, git, loads of stuff in there. I'll, I'll link it in the description so um, you can all take a look. But for, for this example here, uh, I'm, I'm defining a function called aliases um, and we're gonna loop through all the aliases which are stored in fish. Um, but this one doesn't exist, so I'm going to create this and then um, uh, I want to keep this further down the line, so I um, also need to um, save it. So uh, let's functions. I'm sure that's it, yep. Uh, and then uh, aliases. Cool, so that's saved. So I can run that. And as you see um, now, it, it shows up as. Uh, valid function as where else whereas it didn't earlier so if i hit this this will list out all of my stored um, aliases i have so th there's a few uh, and again this is pretty much like my, my git aliases um there's just stuff which um, I, I prefer to have shortened down uh, i'm not sure if you've seen my um git aliases video but you see me repeatedly type in g instead of git um, this is why, because I'm I'm quite used to using this shell. And there's some other things in here. Uh, this this uh, list function, which you can't remember that, so I just I put that in uh, in there. You could also put it in your Git, uh, in your sorry, Git your bash RC file. Um, but I I prefer to have it in in here, and then I can move this around with my settings repository. Um, so I mean that's really it. Um, so I mean we could just go in. Hello, uh, just create an alias. Again, this is aliases, uh, H, and then this could be, uh, hello. And then if we say H, uh, just, just mimic that back. So uh, that pretty much covers why I like fish so much. Um, just just the, uh, the easy to navigate, um, folder structure it has got some great uh, theming uh, options as well 
but because I'm on uh, Windows Subsystem Linux, it tries to shell out to a, 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 a browser window with all the configurations up on there. Um, I don't have that. Um, it's something I don't miss because I've never used it. Um, I'll do all my configuration via um, Hyper, which is the, um, the sort of terminal we're looking at now. Um, so uh, that's that's another thing to, to configure as well. So, so that's it really. Um, uh, really handy um, for for navigating large file structures and uh, just just for making quick aliases um, so if, if you like that let me know um, I could probably go over how to uh, how I configure uh, the hyper uh, terminal as well so uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, uh, see you again soon